Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hope you're having a blessed night through the spirit and power of your Bashim Yashai. Spirit just hit me here. So, you know, I'm going to get into it. Um, you know, are, are you here to compete or are you here to one up each other? Or one up another? Same thing. Are you here to compete or are you here to one up another? Now, there's nothing wrong with a healthy competition. There's nothing wrong with contending for the faith earnestly. There's nothing wrong with having rivalry in the truth, as long as it's healthy and it's ordained through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. Right? Now, if you're trying to one-up each other or one-up your teachers, one-up another brother, it applies to both. Um, that's not the right spirit to be in. Okay, uh, that's vanity. We're here to exhort one another, and that's what that's what this video is going to be about. I'm not sure what I'm going to title it yet, but we're not here to one up another and to stifle each other in this thing of ours. Um, it, it's about growth. It's about encouraging the elect, getting them sealed, and glor glorifying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and there's 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 ways ways to do that. But there's healthy ways to do it also, right? So, um, I just thought I'd bring that out, man. Um, and this go this also goes on the lines uh, on how, you know, cer certain men are going to move differently than other men. And, and not, not all brothers are going to be the same on how they present things or how they approach on taking, on, taking the Lord's work. And some brothers or, or some people may not. And not just brothers, I mean like people who watch on the outside too, who are, are trying to be edified. They may not necessarily ag agree with how you may move or do things. They may think you're weird or or whatever, man. You know, and, and you know what? That's on them. That's on them. As long as you're doing it righteously in a, or in a righteous fashion and it's lawful and you're not offending Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, then continue to do that. Now let me give an example. It's like, okay, you, you it's like you're a player on a team, right? And you, you have, you have, what what is a team comprised of? It's it's, it's comprised of players. I'm gonna use basketball for an example. Okay, you you may have everybody on the team. They can put the ball through their legs, and they can they can drive to the basket by putting the ball through the legs, and they can get to the cup. And put the ball in. But then you may have another player that may not necessarily put the ball through their legs, but they can put the ball through their legs. But they have a different way of of slashing through and getting to the getting to getting to the cup. But instead, they go behind the back. Right? They put the ball behind the back, and then they slash through the paint, and then they put the ball in. Now you may have a coach on the team. That may not like the way how it looks, right? Now, take in mind the way that that brother's doing it. It's fundamental. It's fundamental, and and it gets the job done. He's getting everybody involved. The team's winning. But you may not just like how that looks. You don't tell that brother, or you don't tell that teammate, or or your that player to not do that. Because that stifles his game. That's his, that's that's the way how he plays. Okay? That's the way how he plays. Okay, and, and certain certain men in the truth they play a different way. But they're playing lawfully. You gotta respect that person's game, man. Okay, you gotta respect that brother's spirit. Okay, and if you don't, that's on you. But don't ever go out and say that brother's doing too much. Especially when you can't fucking prove it. And you can't back it up with scripture. You know, that's not the right spirit to be in. Okay? And that goes for anybody that's out there that watches too. If the brothers bring out facts, if he's bringing, about, bringing out edification, exhortation, and it's scriptural, and it's to the point, and it makes sense, and it's lawful, just be quiet, man. If you don't like it, just be quiet. You know what? Okay? So anyway, um, this is Jude chapter 1, verse 3. Beloved, 
when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation. What is that common salvation? What are we all striving for as Israelites that are in the know? What are we all striving for? Salvation, that common salvation, which is Yahweh Shai coming back, cracking them skies, putting in work, destroying this place, saving us. That's the common salvation. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for Yahweh Shai to rule with King, da King David on down. That's what we're looking for, man. That's the ultimate goal. Okay? And that's why we make these videos. That's what we, we prophesy about the most. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So what does the word exhort mean, man? It really means to encourage. That's, really, that's what it really goes into. And the key words in this precept here is exhort and to contend. Because that's, that's what I really want to go into. This is about encouragement. And this is also about contending for the right reasons. Building up a, a healthy rivalry. Not just between the Akim and yourself. But you, you're contending for the faith for, for other people that come up against this truth, man. You're fighting them too. Okay, and when we put out these videos, when we go up against these different cronies <laughs> that the elite has uh, set up, like Vocab, Malone, right there we're contending for the faith. But it, it, it's a, it, but it's like, it's like a, sto it's like a, what, what is it? It's like a, two birds, it's like a, killing two birds with one stone. You're also contending for the faith against actual enemies but you're also contending when it comes to building up another brother's brother's face by sharpening by iron sharpening 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 iron that's what you're doing because this also encouraged other brothers and other men to get involved when you make videos like that all right so anyway uh, let me get exhort here uh let's get the word here man Let's get the word Paracaleo. Let's see. Strong's G 3870. Paracaleo. Paracaleo. All right. To call to one side, call for summon, to address, speak to, call to, call upon, which may be done in the way of exhortation, entreaty, comfort, instruction, etc., to admonish, exhort, to beg, entreat. Beseech, to strive, to appease, by entreaty, to console, to encourage, and strengthen by consolation, to comfort. Now let's get the word encourage. Let's get the word encourage here, man. Encourage. You notice this is a this is a, a an action. Well, yeah, it's a verb, an action word, right? An action speaks louder than words. So this word was put in the scriptures because it's about action. Not talk. Action, okay? Actions speak louder than words. And you don't want to just be a talker, man. Because talking, it will lead you down to the path of, of one-upping each other or one-upping another. And you don't want that, man. You want action. Actions speak louder than words, man. Okay, so it says to make strong. Hearten, make, put in, courage, heart, encouraging, encouragingly. Courage, heart, right? So yeah, it's about it's about making each other strong, man. And that's what Jude was talking about. Which Jude was a servant of, of Yahweh Shai. One of the one of the I believe one of the apostles. So if you're a servant in this thing. If you're a true servant of the Lord, then then you would understand that, man. If you can't understand that, then you got to question yourself. Are you a servant? If you call yourself a servant and you're not about making the people around you stronger in the faith and sharpening them, then then you really don't understand what you're involved in. All right? You don't then you don't understand. Okay? So to make strong and the scripture says we are all subject to one another. We're all servants to one another, man. 
and servants they 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 make uh, they make their lord strong they help them they encourage them so that's your job that's your job that's my job right so um let's let's move on here man so it says here exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints so contend really means to fight it also means rivalry too when you look it up but i'm going to look it up in uh the greek here and then i'm going to get the the etymology of it so contend let's see if we bring out the definition here strong's g 1864 epagonizomai epagonizomai so it says to contend earnestly contend to struggle for earnestly Contend for. Okay, so struggle. Struggle with difficulties and dangers to endeavor with strenuous zeal, strive to obtain something, to enter a contest. Contend in the gymnast games. And you know, um, you're 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 gonna you're gonna contend with other brothers to, you know what I mean? Like when it when it comes to sharpening one another. Okay, and you're going to also contend with these enemies out in the world here. You got to fight and contend for this thing. Now, like I said, there, there's a healthy way of going about it. If you're not contending for edification, then you're going off. If you're contending just to one up another brother or one up your teachers, you're not in the right spirit. There's two sides to it. All right, so. Here we go. Contend. Now let's get it in uh, at, a, at a online here. Uh, contend. Oh, no, that's not it. It's contend. Contend. Engage in rivalry. And you can have a good rivalry too. You may have uh, two friends who, who are probably just, at, you know, let's just say you have uh, two basketball players on the court. It's like Kobe versus LeBron. You have you have, I don't know I don't know how to compare it. Um, you have two great players, man, and they're they're kind of on the same. They're they're kind of on par with each other, right? So you would call that a rivalry, and that's healthy because they're you know they 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 make each other stronger when when they fight against each other or when they play against each other. They sharpen their skills. So a lot of people get this word misconstrued, man. Rivalry. They they kind of. They kind of look at it at it like it's a bad thing. No, rivalry is good. Rivalry is a good thing. It's a good thing, man. It's healthy. All right. Doesn't doesn't uh, you know you know the Lord is a man of war too, man. You gotta also keep that in mind, man. The Lord he likes he likes other brothers to sharpen each other. You know, and you know rivalry is some is synonymous with with kind of fighting or or sparring. Okay, so so just keep that in mind. You know, it's healthy to do those things, and you know you need you know you you need to hear it, man. Sometimes you need to hear this these things. You need to look at it that way. So it says uh, to stretch out, to shoot, hurl, throw, strive after mentally, measure or try one's strength with, fight, vi with from assimilated form of calm here probably an intensive prefix calm, tender, or calm. To stretch, okay, or tend to stretch, to assert, affirm, maintain, contending. Yeah, so you get the point, man. All right, so uh, let's get iron sharpeneth iron. And, and I, I googled that. It says, it says iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens the face of his neighbor. And your neighbor is your brother, okay? Your neighbor is your brother. Especially the brother that's laboring with you too. So Proverbs 27 and 17, iron sharpens iron, is almost universally seen as positive. Wise people should be questioning, encouraging, coaching, and challenging each other. And that's what wise wise men should do. You should question each other. Right? You know, that sharpens you. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Nothing wrong. And you question each other through these videos too. That's ex ex exhortation, speaking and call you you know just ask questions too all right all right so i hope that makes sense uh
I'll even read the I'll read the full thing here. So it says Proverbs 27 and 17, iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Okay, so that builds you up, man. You sharpen each other, you ask questions, you make things edifying, you exhort one another, you encourage each other. That sharpens each other, man. Iron sharpeneth iron, makes you sharp sword. And we're all trying to get better in this thing. So anyway, I went on, I explained my point, so I hope this is edifying. Till next time. Kwam Yasha Allah. Also, uh, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh Hashem Yoshai, the blondest of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. With that, Shalom.